Welcome to Think About It Reviews, and we are reviewing Big Hero 6, the new Pixar Marvel movie from Disney, and I gotta say, right off the bat, I enjoyed this movie a lot. Now, let's get right into here, uh, this is a spoiler review, there's gonna be a little bit of spoilers, not too much, uh, this film was a safe, enjoyable movie, when I say safe, it was very predictable. It didn't really, you know, explode your mind. It's it reminded me a lot of Wreck It Ralph, where I enjoyed the movie so a lot, and I watched it a couple more times. But after that, couple more times, I got a little bit, you know, I'm good with Wreck It Ralph until the sequel comes out. That's the same way with this. This is a good setup to basically maybe possible sequels. I know it's doing good in the box office. I think it was higher Thursday night showings than uh, Frozen. At one point, but who knows? I mean, you got Interstellar, too, with Nolan's film. I'm sure this film's going to do good. The theater was a little bit packed. It was a good, sizable audience. And all the kids loved it. They liked it. They loved Baymax. Now, let's talk about Baymax. Let's talk about, basically, what this film's about. And this film's about, basically, Hero, our main character. Uh, his brother pretty much designs this like medical kind of like marshmallow type thing that has a big old belly. I like to think of it as like the Ghost Butter, uh, Ghost Butter, Ghostbusters 2 marshmallow guy. Well, basically he's uh, created to help people, to cure people, to aid people or something medical wise just to serve your uh, injury, uh, help injuries, this and that, medical kind of design. Well, something happens, uh, well, his brother dies, and Hero is very sad by this, but he befriends Baymax, and they go look for the killer of his brother, or, well, they stumble upon the killer of his brother, and pretty much they form a superhero team with all the characters you've seen in the trailers, like Go Go, uh, Fred, Fred was hilarious, I think it's Honey, Honey, I'm gonna call her Honey Juju for some reason, and the other dude, <laughs> uh, but here's the problem i guess it's a little bit of a problem because i want to know these characters names and they do they really uh there's a lot of exposition just like interstellar but really we don't get these characters in the movie until like a good 45 minutes into it it's really established well you see introductions to them but they're not really the main focus you know what i mean it's not there there it's not if you're looking for this movie for to focus on just the team aspect, you get a little bit of it, but it's only a taste. You want more. It's really focusing on the relationship between Baymax and Hero and pretty much the the death of his brother, which I'm fine with. For the first film, I'm fine with. It was good to learn the relationship between these two characters. I really like the design of Hero and Hero himself. He reminded me a little bit of Hiccup. Just a little bit. And Baymax, Baymax, it was awesome. He was so funny. It was a lot funnier movie than I thought it would. Definitely got the kids uh, laughing because Baymax is a lovable. He is a lovable character. And uh, just the way, he, you know, the subtleness and, you know, his awkwardness because he's so big. He just gets in these situations like uh, the, the chase scene when uh, the Kabuto guy or the villain is chasing after him. And uh, Baymax is just like, you know, he's so slow and he's so like kind of fat and like he can't get through the window and this and that. It was, it was funny. It was, it was a good little charm there. Um, Hero, uh, I'm big, you, know, you guys know I'm a big anime fan looking and this is a cross between San Francisco and Tokyo in the near future. Hero, man, Tony Stark. You need to sit down. You just got owned, buddy. Hero's like 13 years old, and this guy's Hero's coming up with revolutionary kind of stuff. He is beyond Tony Stark. This guy, this kid is so smart, and he could take, he, he's not using, and he's just 13 years old. Wait till he gets older. He's going to be freaking, he's going to be a, like a god, pretty much. He's just, he uh, makes these microbots. Basically, and of course the villain gets a hold of these microbots. It's uh, we learn about how his brother really died, and pretty much the whole fire scene was just planned. That was very predictable. The story was kind of predictable. We knew I knew who the villain was gonna be. I knew pretty much the girl who got launched was. I thought it was his wife, but when you look at it, you could tell she was really younger. So yeah, it was his his daughter, and somewhat. And you you just knew you just knew. But it's a kids movie. 
So they played it safe. You know, they didn't try to confuse anybody. They wanted you really... T- it's like Guardians of the Galaxy. A safe story, but they wanted you to get to know the characters more. Because we don't know really much about Big Hero 6. I don't know much about Big Hero 6 from the comics. I know it's based off a comic book. Um, but I know this is definitely... Looking at the comic book images and then looking at this, they definitely changed a lot of it just to be kid friendly it was great fred was a great humor humorous character uh i thought the kids loved fred as well and even the older adults loved fred because fred had those like you know adult jokes and it was overall a safe fun ride it definitely reminded me of wreck it ralph uh the story you know if you're looking for something mind bending or just a unique kind of story it's not this it's not that unique it's just uh, it's just very entertaining, and it's not. There's a, it, it's so good to see that these guys, this team, is not just a superhero team. They're pretty much nerds. They're very scientific. They're not there to fight you. They're there to just you know invent stuff. These are inventors. So just seeing them struggle to pretty much hone in their superhero roles, and then at the end having that battle was great to see. Cause we, I, it's nice to see not the superhero type. You know. People who just get it right away and could automatically punch and this and that. And it took Baymax too. Baymax is not designed to do battle. He's designed to help people. So it was great to see that kind of theme help. Like people who are not made to fight but made to invent, made to help people, lives or whatever. It was good. That was a good little theme going on there. The, the scenes, the chase scene, the fight scenes... They're generic. They're not all too impressive. I mean, it was okay. It was like it was entertaining. It entertained me enough. There wasn't really nothing like I said too spectacular with it. The flight scenes with Hero and Baymax. It I wanted to. It reminded me of How to Train a Dragon, but How to Train a Dragon. What they're good at is just really getting you into those flight scenes and really showcasing like the area it surrounded it i know uh big hero 6 attempted that but i thought it was okay the flight scenes and all that it's it's a safe movie but i still was very entertained with this film and i think you guys i highly recommend you watch this i think your kids are gonna love it they're gonna love baymax and i think the older people will love fred and they'll like hero heroes uh he, he's not a smart ass type of kid, you know, well, sort of, but he, he has a heart and uh, you see his struggles and up and up and down. Uh, I do wish there was a little bit more of a team, but I can understand, you know, trying to really introduce these characters, uh, introduce at least the relationship between Baymax, Hero and the brother. So Takashi. Uh, so, yeah, it's very I highly recommend it if you not looking to watch this film or take your kids to see this film there's other recommendations i recommend as well uh wreck it ralph like i said this is like wreck it ralph i was so entertained you can get wreck it ralph on dvd whatever uh uh it's not streaming i don't believe on no it's not streaming on netflix it's on like stars and all one of those channels wreck it ralph is a very entertaining movie it's um it wasn't like groundbreaking, but it was also it was like something I want to see more of. So, Wreck-It Ralph is a recommendation if you don't want to see this film. And also, Guardians of the Galaxy, man, Guardians of the Galaxy has the same kind of misfits, but they're tr- they're really like trained. They're they're trained to you know to fight and all that. Where this team is not, this the other team is. So, Guardians of the Galaxy is such a fun adventure. But if you're looking for animation, go watch Despicable Me because I just saw the trailer from minions well i have the trailer on my channel but man our madagascar i really want to see that penguin movie but all in all yes uh big hero 6 is definitely worth checking out taking your kids if you want to um it's a very safe movie uh there's not the villain was mediocre but um your kids are gonna love it your kids are gonna love baymax they're gonna love baymax i'm telling you so yeah that's my review on uh big hero 6 now if you like this review please push the like button and i would really appreciate if you guys subscribe and let me know guys if you guys seen the movie let me know your thoughts what did you think about the movie was it you know did you think it was a lot better than what i'm saying right now or did you think it was a less you know just too mediocre wasn't as good um let me know i make these videos to hear what you guys guys say so comment section and please subscribe and also you know what grab a tick grab a seat I hope, well, hopefully you got some good popcorn to eat. See you at the cinema, guys. I'm out.